Hello and welcome to Coffee with Carrie. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I appreciate you being here as always. This is a quick tip for you today and I was looking to give my Latisse link to somebody. I had to go find it. I was having like a senior moment. I couldn't remember the name, but every single episode I added into my description bar, yet I couldn't, I didn't think to even look at for it there. Somebody had mentioned in a comment to me about Latisse and I was like, oh yeah, I never heard of this place. I wonder where they are. And I Googled it and while I thought it sounded like an American company, it was Australian. And in case you are ordering Latisse from here or other drugs, I just wanted to share with you some thoughts that I've had, things I've heard other people say. I know I'm not alone in this, but I am careful. I'm looking at my two animals here in the room with me. I make sure that their bones, their treats, their chewies, all their stuff that they put in their mouth doesn't have to necessarily be made in the USA, which would be totally fine with me, but I'm trying to avoid things that are made where there are very limited rules in place or leniency that I don't want to have manufacturers taking advantage of. So I'm trying to avoid things we ingest or put into our body coming from China. And wouldn't you know it, when I dug a little deeper into this company in Australia, where a person who I was speaking to was getting their Latisse prior to using my discount code, it was coming from China to Australia to this person, one of my subscribers in the United States. I wanted to throw that out because maybe you wouldn't think that, oh, I'm ordering it from Australia. That's great. I'm avoiding you know, the prescription that you need in the U.S. and I'm able to bypass that and get the same generic brand over here for a fraction of the cost. It's not worth it if it doesn't have the quality control that we have here in the States and I'm sure that wherever you live, the laws are protecting you and what you put in your eyes. I would never want anybody I care about to take the risk of putting drops in their eyes. I mean, even these right here for whitening of the eyes because my eyes were a little red and irritated. So I whitened them up a little bit and I would never put something in here that didn't have anybody making sure that they were safe for my eyes. And I feel it's the same thing with the Latisse. You close your eyes if you put it on before bed, it's in your lashes. I don't think your eyes are something you ingest or that your children or grandchildren or loved one putts. I mean, I even remember when the kids were little, the little chew things that they would want, oh, teething rings, et cetera. I was making sure that they weren't made in China. Without anybody overseeing that and them taking shortcuts and knowing that there was plastics in things that my animal was eating from China back in the day, do a little Googling about some of the crazy things that they found in things that we take in by mouth and digest, and it was it's shocking. So I don't want anything bad to happen to your eyes. I've had a great success. I've been using the Latisse for probably three years now. These bottles last me forever. It's not expensive if you follow my advice and use it the way I tell you to. They last, they're actually a bargain. Be safe and protect yourself. That's all I wanted to tell you today. I appreciate you stopping by and if you found this interesting or helpful or something you hadn't thought of, give the episode a thumbs up. I'd love to have you back, so hit that ring bell and then you're notified every time I upload a new episode. Look forward to the next time and until then, have a good one.